Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is a continuation on eCut, which is MacroMonster.com. It's a I've done a lot of videos on nesting and and other things, and it's got a lot more uh, macros than anything I've ever seen. I just I just got it yesterday, and I've already cut out this box just this morning. It's a finger joint box, and it's a little bit different than other programs I've used. First of all, it's included, and uh, it's really cheap. So just go to finger joints, and it comes up with this option, and you set your box at two inches wide, two inches high, and two inches deep. I'm going to put the finger joint on 0.125. Now, later on, you can play around with the kerf, but you need to just check your joints first. So I'm going to hit apply, and it drew, drew my box. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now you need to take your box and go up to a range and break curve apart. And then you can move your pieces around so they'll fit on your laser bed and, and not waste wood. But you just go out to your shop and cut that out. Save that as a file and cut it out. I cut it out of uh, uh, eighth inch uh, plywood. Uh, and I'm going to make a second video on this, how to test these joints before you waste, you know, that little bit of wood, but before you waste, I'm going to make a second video, how you can just kind of test those joints before you go out and cut it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.